Okay, if you can master this Floyd Mayweather technique, your defensive skills are just going to skyrocket. It's one simple thing. He does it all the time in his fights and it makes him so evasive. Let's talk about that today. Throughout pretty much my whole entire career as a professional, I have not had a coach, somebody in charge of everything who tells me what to do, who tells me what areas I need to improve upon, just everything that a head coach does, I don't really have that. So what I've done is I've watched the best fighters in the world and looked at things they're really good at and then tried to implement that into my own training and see if it's something that takes, something that I'm able to really add to my fight game. Now, slipping for me has never been a massive part of my fight game, I can do it when I strictly box, but once we start adding in kicks, I don't focus on it as much. But I was just watching Floyd Mayweather fight the other day, his match against Victor Ortiz, and I went, oh my gosh, he's doing this one technique over and over and over and over, and it's making life so difficult for Ortiz, he's not able to land anything. And what we're talking about today is a fade back, a quick pull. But Mayweather does this in a very unique way, or he does something very interesting, which makes him so difficult to hit. And what we are talking about in his uniqueness is his process of not waiting for somebody to throw. He doesn't wait for the punch to come and then pull. He just pulls at the end of pretty much every punch he throws. He's preemptively being defensive. And when you go about doing that, you become so hard to hit because you're already in motion before your opponent has thrown a shot. So what I want you guys to try and work on, just like Floyd does, is if you're here and you throw a jab and you know you're not going to follow up with something else, just give a little pull. If you go one, two, just give that little pull. The issue, of course, with the pullback is you're shifting your weight a little bit more between your feet, which makes it easier in boxing, something that you can get away with. In other striking sports, shifting your weight from side to side becomes a little bit more difficult because it may impede your kicks, it may impede takedown defense, but you can still utilize this type of head movement. Again, it's not fancy. We're not worried about all sorts of head movement side to side to side. We're not worried about timing our opponent's punches to our head, waiting and waiting and then pulling back and countering the way that McGregor used to do so well. We are simply talking about you throw a shot, you pull. You throw a combo, you pull. And just doing that time and time again as Mayweather demonstrates against Ortiz can just make it so difficult for counters to land. When I first started putting a lot of focus on boxing, I went, you know what, if I want to be one of the best kickboxers in the world, I need to be very good at boxing. When I started doing that and I started improving my boxing skills, I realized that slipping very often is not about me watching shots come and slipping them all and really going like, okay, jab, cross, hook, I'm gonna slip one, two, three. It was more about me keeping my head in motion, just moving and moving. And when I did that, at least 50% of the shots automatically miss, if not more. Sometimes when you're in motion, you might accidentally start rolling into a shot and then you have to adjust. But just as this Floyd Mayweather technique today of pulling works so well, slipping without actually reacting to your opponent's punches works great. So the next time you're sparring, the next time you're shadow boxing, try hit and pull back. Touch and pull back. And just let that little twitch muscle of a pull drag you back about, that could be two inches, it could be six, and I think you'll be surprised how effective this really is. That's my little tip for you guys today. I hope it helps some of you guys out there improve your defense, make it much more difficult for people to land shots on you. I'm gonna call it there for today. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed. As always guys, train hard, push the defense, and I will see you back here soon for another video.